Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to add Maven support for an existing Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. The steps to add Maven support to a Java project in IntelliJ IDEA, including add framework support uh, and Maven, and then enable auto import for Maven. You see, this is IntelliJ IDEA on my computer, and I have a Java web project open here, my web app. Uh, currently, this project doesn't have a Maven support. Now I want to add Maven to this project. So uh, right click on the project name and you can see the context menu item. Add framework support. And in the add framework support, uh, on the left, scroll down and you will see uh, Maven here. So check Maven here. And click OK. And then in the idea, we are uh, uh, the Maven project file from dot uh, XML file under the project directory as you can see here, and then it uh, opens the from XML file in edit mode in an XML editor here, and also the Maven view uh, to the uh, right here you see, and uh, in the Maven from uh, XML file change the group ID to the package of the application. For example, on my project it is net.codejava and uh, specify the name and description for the project so the IDE will display the name for Maven view in the right side here now I specify the name of the project name my web application And description of the project is an awesome application. That's it. And on the Maven view uh, to the right, you can click the refresh icon here, and you see it uh, updated the uh, name of the project, my web application. And now let uh, add some dependency for this uh, project. For example, I want to add dependency for Sublit API and uh, my SQL ZDBC driver. So, type dependencies. You can see IntelliJ IDEA provides auto succession for completing uh, uh, Maven syntax uh, very well. Now, I specify dependency for um, Sublit API. The group ID is javax.sublit and artifact ID is uh, javax.sublit uh, dash API. As you can see, IntelliJ IDEA auto automatically suggests uh, the artifact ID and the version. Uh, when you press uh, control space here, yeah, I choose the latest version 4.0.1. Yeah, that's it. And I want to add another dimension for my SQL JDBC driver. Dependency, the second dimension for my SQL JDBC driver. Group ID is my SQL. Artifact ID is my SQL connector Java. And the version number is uh, As you can see, IntelliJ IDEA uh, suggests the version number. I choose the uh, older version number 5.1.46 here. And that's it. And uh, under the external libraries uh, section on the project view here, you can see uh, no update for Maven. So, uh, to update, you need to synchronize click the refresh uh, icon here, button here and then you will see in the external libraries uh, there are two jar files added was the first one for Java Service API and the second one for SQL Connector Java.
and to enable auto import, uh, auto reload uh, changes whenever we make changes to uh, Maven's POM XML file. As you can see in the main view to the right, there's a button called toggle auto reload mode, and you can choose the first uh, option enable auto reload after any changes. That's it. And so, whenever we make changes to the Maven POM XML file, uh, IntelliJ IDEA we automatically update the project. For example, I want to change the version of SQL Connector Java to uh, uh, latest to the latest version. Here, yeah. okay. And we see the IntelliJ IDEA automatically uh, synchronize. And you can see the version of MySQL Connector Java got updated. And we don't have to click the refresh, the reload uh, button here. Let's choose the uh, option enable auto reload after any changes in the Maven view. That's it. Also uh, add Maven support for an existing Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. You see it's very easy and simple. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video to help grow this channel. Thank you.